Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. It's another nice and quick one today. We'll see how we can create dimensions for entire walls without getting an annoying error. Let's begin by opening level 2. Let's say I want to dimension this entire wall here. Not just from end to end but also whenever it intersects one of those grid lines or other walls. I can go to Annotate, Dimensions, choose Aligned. And then instead of picking individual references, I can do it for the entire wall. You can then under options, select to get openings, intersecting walls and intersecting grids. Looks good to me. Now in theory, when I pick on this wall here, it should give me a nice dimension with all the required references for the grids and the other intersecting walls. But as you can see now, there's a forbidden sign where my cursor is and now I cannot place this dimension. What's going on? You see, if I try to click there, it's going to say one or more dimension references is not valid. Well, let me show you then which one is invalid. It has to do with those curtain walls here. This curtain wall apparently intersects the wall we're trying to annotate, but for some reason, the entire wall dimension command doesn't play well with intersecting curtain walls. Let me prove it. If I now select this wall like this, Go to this blue endpoint icon there. I can now right click and choose to disallow join. So this wall, you can see it's still intersecting the other wall, but in Revit's term, they are no longer joined. Let's do the same for this one. So select it, right click on the blue endpoint and choose disallow join. If I now try the entire wall dimension command again, it's gonna work. You see that? Very nice. But you may say to me, what if unjoining them by disallowing the joint is not an option? There's another way. Let me undo the two edit wall joints commands there. And now when I select one of them, I can see it's still joined because the disallow joint command is still there. If I disallow it already, that command will change to allow joint. So undo one more time. It's still the same situation we had from the beginning. Now instead of unjoining those walls, you can just select them like this. So I have two selected now. And just do hide in view by element. They are now hidden. If I now go to dimensions, aligned, choose the entire wall again. But this time, it should go ahead and make this for me without any problem. Because this command only tries to attach references to elements visible in the view. By hiding those curtain walls, I have stopped them from participating in this command. And that's what fixed the problem. In this case, I'm dimensioning to the center line of my opening. But if I do it again, but this time choose to get the opening width, you can see it updates nicely. So the choice is yours, either hiding those walls like I did, do the dimension and then go down here, choose to reset the view, or just disallow them from joining the wall you're trying to dimension. If you like quick rubber tips like this every single day, subscribe to this channel. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.